numbers part two hi i'm daniel souza and welcome to aptitude academy this is part two on the lecture of numbers let's get started with a few problems problem one the sum of two numbers is 15 and the sum of the squares is 113 find the numbers right now in the first problem they said that two numbers when added they give you 15 let the numbers be x and 15 minus x Alright, now if you didn't understand why I took this, you need to go and watch my first video. We have taken this so as to eliminate the variable y. Now they've also said that the squares, when added together, it gives you 113. Right, now let's simplify this. This is x squared, so this is a minus b the whole square. So 15 squared is 225 minus 30x plus x squared is equal to 113. Now 113 take it on the side, right? So it becomes 2x squared minus 30x right plus 225 minus 113 so it's just 1 1 2 now divide this by 2 because it's common so you take x square minus 15x plus 56 now you need to factorize this so x square minus 7x minus 8x plus 56 now why have i taken 7 and 8 7 and 8 when you add them up this minus 7 minus 8 will give you minus 15 but when you multiply them, minus 7 into minus 8 will give you 56. Alright, now take common. x is common here in these two. So x minus 7. Minus 8 is common here. x minus 7. You need to make sure that this is the same. x minus 7, x minus 7. So your factors will come out to be x minus 8, x minus 8 into x minus 7 is equal to 0. Implies x is 8 or 7. Right? Now if you take x is 8, right, then the other number will be 15 minus 8, that is 7. If you take 7 as your number, then 15 minus 7 is 8. So these are your two numbers, 7 and 8. Alright, let's move on to the second problem. Problem 2. The average of 4 consecutive even numbers is 27. Find the largest of these numbers. Alright, for the next problem, you need to understand what are consecutive even numbers and how they are represented. Alright, now these are the numbers. What are even numbers? 2, 4, 6 and 8. Right, and they go on. Now you notice that the difference between any two consecutive even numbers is 2. Right? 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. Let us assign the first consecutive even number as x. Now if I had x as the first even number, how would I get to the next even number? I would add 2. So your next number will be x plus 2. Right? For the next even number, I need to add 2 to the previous one. So x plus 2 plus 2. That is x plus 4. x plus 6. And so on. Right? Now they've said that the average of the first four consecutive even numbers is 27. How would you find the average? You would add these four values divided by 4. So you have x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus x plus 6 divided by the number of values that is 4 is equal to 27. That's been given. Alright? Now take 4 to the side. 27 into 4. That's 108. Alright. Now add this up. You have x, x, x and x. So it gives you 4x. Plus 6 plus 4 is how much 10? 10 plus 2 is 12. So 4x plus 12 is equal to 108. Right? Now, 4x is equal to, take 12 aside, 108 minus 12 is 96. Implies x is equal to 24. Right? Now, this is not your answer. They have asked you to find the greatest value. x is equal to 24 is the first value. Your greatest value will be x plus 6. So your actual answer is 30. Many of us will mark 24. We need to pay attention. They've asked you for the greatest even number. That's 30. Alright, let's go on to the third problem. Problem 3. The sum of the squares of three consecutive odd numbers is 2531. Find the numbers. Now, as in the case with even numbers, odd numbers are also with a difference of 2. Now, if you just see the first 3, 4 odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc., you will see that the difference is 2. Right? So now, when you talk about consecutive odd numbers as well, you can assign them as x, x plus 2, and x plus 4. Now, they've given that the sum of the squares of the first three consecutive odd numbers, not first, just consecutive odd numbers, gives you 2, 5, 3, 1. Right? So now, x squared plus x plus 2 squared plus x plus 4 squared is equal to 2, 5, 3, 1. Let's simplify this. This is a plus b whole square. Okay? So x squared plus x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus x squared plus this is 8x plus 16 is equal to 2531 
All right. Now x square you have one, two, three. So you have three x square. Right. X is how much you have? You have eight x plus four x. So this is twelve x. And you have four plus sixteen. That is twenty. All right. Now you take this on on the other side. So it becomes two five three one minus twenty. All right. So now you can write it as three x square plus twelve x minus two five one one. Is equal to zero. All right, twenty. If if you subtract from two five three one, it gives you two five one one. I've taken it on this side, so it becomes minus. All right. Now let's factorize this. Before factorizing, you see the three is here, right? You want this to be x square, so divide it by three completely. So this becomes x square plus four x two five one one divided by three gives you eight thirty seven. Is equal to zero. Now if you factorize it, it gives you x square plus thirty one x minus twenty seven x. Minus eight thirty seven is equal to zero. Now thirty one minus twenty seven is equal to four. Thirty one into minus twenty seven gives you minus eight thirty seven. All right, now take x common. X plus thirty one. We take minus twenty seven common here. It gives you x plus thirty one. So implies x minus twenty seven and x plus thirty one. Now x minus twenty seven, x plus thirty one. Now x will be equal to either twenty seven or minus thirty one. A minus thirty one it cannot be. So you remove it out. So x is equal to twenty-seven. So what are your three numbers? If x is equal to twenty-seven, then your three numbers will be twenty-seven. Twenty-seven plus two is twenty-nine, and twenty-seven plus four is thirty-one. These are your three odd numbers. All right. Let's go on to the fourth problem. Problem four. If three numbers are added in pairs, the sums equal ten, nineteen, and twenty-one. Find the numbers. All right. Now for the fourth problem, they've given you three numbers. Let's say x, y, z, and they said that if you add them in pairs, they give you 10, 19, 21. So let's say the x, y, z. X plus y is 10. Y plus z is 19, and z plus x is 21. They've asked you to find x, y, and z. How do you do this? First step: add all of these up. You got x plus y plus y plus z plus z plus x is equal to 10 plus 19 plus 21. 21 plus 19 is 40. 40 plus 10 is 50. Now, on the LHS, you have two x's, two y's, and two z's, right? So you can have 2 into x plus y plus z is equal to 50. Implies x plus y plus z is equal to 50 by 2. That is 25. This is your main equation. Now it gets very simple. If you want to find, suppose x, what is y plus z? 19, right? So x is equal to 25 minus y plus z. What is y plus z? 19. So x is equal to 6. What is y? Y is equal to 25. 25 minus x plus z. What is x plus z? 21. 25 minus 21. So 4. What is z? Z is equal to 25 minus x plus y. X plus y is 10. So 25 minus 10, 15. These are your three numbers. All right. So this was part two on the lecture on numbers. In video three, I'll solve many more tougher problems. If you found this video helpful, do like it and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it if you tell your friends about these videos on Facebook. Thank you.